I'm a stitcher and I'm a storyteller. And I use my art as a way of making sense of my life. I started a project on the 1st of January in 2016 where I wanted to make every day a little textile picture for the whole year. And what I found soon was that my mood of the day reflected in, the, in that embroidery. Those little fabric pictures, they fitted in one little plastic box, which looked like nothing. But once I had hung it up, then I had realized what it had actually become. It's an expression of my life. So sometimes there are those, those difficult uh, works and because something I need to work out inside me, or sometimes they're also just the mundane, the, which might make somebody just giggle, you know, or to stitch like a little picture that says it's unadvisable to cook custard in a kimono because I kept dipping the sleeve into it. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, they're little nonsense pieces, really, but at the same time, they are... It, this is what happened in my life, you know, and... Yeah. That's why it's allowed to be. In a way, it's pinning it down, capturing something that's been important for me. In fact, I think a lot of my life happens on the pages. I had this romantic idea of Africa. I made this book where I stitched my story over Karen Blixen's story because I loved her story out of Africa. And there are certain parallels between her life and mine. My story really began with Harald's leaving in 1976. A person can very well live without an arm or a leg, even without one kidney, but it is not possible to live without your heart. Three years later, I went to reclaim it. So throughout this book, I'm, I've stitched down sort of in a stream of consciousness my, my life here. It's not an embroidery, it's a clue. It's a clue for what's going on inside me. If it is now emotion, so if it is thought, you've made something out of the, something that might just have been sitting inside you or worrying you or whatever. And that there is something redemptive about making art and um, a cathartic, you know, by externalizing those things that you cannot express any other way. A needle is a tool for reparation for mending, if you think about it. Mending is not just something that repairs cloth or so, but mending is also what we do inwardly. So that's what we do with our needle too. With the up and down movement, the rhythmic movement, is a very quietening work. You, you are in the present, you are in the moment. You sit and you stitch. You have a lot of time to think. It's a way, and in a way the needlework has kind of become that path for me. Just trust in life and stitch. It's, it's, it will be fine. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's film. We really appreciate all your wonderful comments. It really helps to motivate us wanting to make these films even better for you guys. If you would consider donating towards us and helping support us, just click on the link below.